Hey, Boozy, my man. What's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shuk Fu, Ram Fa Li. He heads the Red Gecko Tongue on the West Coast. How you doing? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ah Ah Kung has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. There may be some trouble ahead. The Shifu would like a package retrieved. A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> he is Triad? A mountain boy? No, a personal friend of mine and less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. No one there. You and I have a lot in common. Vivian is calling in from Carson City and wants to talk about truck service. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd actually make it on the show. Is that because you have a girl's name? Here's a conspiracy. Your mom hates you. Holy shit. How'd you know that? Next caller. My name is Vivian. I got a lot of demonstrations. Pick up a little pamphlet. None of them say anything about the aliens. Try reading between the lines. And if that doesn't work, do some. Then you'll understand all about the aliens and just where you were planted. Mike, on line 10. Man, I think my dentist is attracted to me. Uh, she knocks me unconscious and has her way with me. And it's on... Uh, I'll tell you what makes me feel icky. The fact I haven't washed in two months. <laughs> Whatever you do, trust nobody. Next caller. I am a domestic bot. My name is... Six, three, two, three, six, nine, four, three, nine. You know, that's not a very original name. I didn't know robots listened to this show. We know what you are doing to my domestic bot brother and sister. Uh, enough of that, little guy. Sounds like he's been programmed for evil. All right, let's get to the real meat of the tapes. Newsmen lying to our face about weather balloons. Historians ignoring my proof that WW2 didn't happen. The FDA, infiltrated by the very device they're supposed to regulate. Plug. Mind control devices. But we'll have to leave that for now. You are leaving Area 53? You've been abducted. Until next time, stay alert. They're after you. You're leaving Area 53. Check your rectum. Mom! Josh just broke the vodka bottle on your nightstand. Chris did it! You little shits, I'll kill you! Raising a family in the suburbs is tough. Especially when you used to be a hip single woman on her own in a cool enclave of town. With today's stresses, it's difficult to maintain a loving exploratory sex relationship. Sometimes you need a help. Send the right message about values and character. With Grin, Grin readjusts your brain chemistry in a completely safe way. I hated my life. Now I love my minivan. Instead of spending time with friends, I work on the house. The Earth is bipolar. I am too. Grin keeps me at the equator. Primitive, sunny, and always feeling hot. Grin is scientifically formulated by science to help cure the anxiety, depression, and lack of self-confidence that comes with living a new life in the suburbs. It's safe and non-addictive. After all, what could be happening about a pill that makes you feel better all of the time? If you're feeling like nothing matters, unemotional, and gaining weight, why not regain your confidence with Grin? The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek Lagerie.
today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects for golf courses. <laughs> Girls in skirts, and we revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies. Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it, know it. Buy the jersey, eat the junk food, call it athletics! I'm Derek Thackeray. Grab your balls and run, cause someone's gonna pin you to the ground and give it up the you know where. Winner takes all, including the general warts. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. There's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh. Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes Yay. Where it is every Monday and Friday, the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the Yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil they little party. All right, man. Get a vehicle up now. Uh, hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Wanna fight? Uh, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic Frankie, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look, I love high school football, and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack from Idol. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, hey, I don't ride. What's the problem? Oh.